I've got a whole plethora of things that are going to help you beat the heat this summer and really enjoy your summer season to its max. It's summer and I know it's hot. I have carefully curated a group of products that I think you probably haven't seen on other channels. And I think you're going to get some value from this video. But if my ideas are not enough, this is a collaboration video. I'm doing this video in conjunction with Barbara Jean, Age is Just a Number. She is from Texas, and she's got some experience with the heat also. So I think that if I don't have everything that you need, between the two of us, Barbara Jean and I, we're going to have you covered. Barbara Jean normally does fashion and beauty. Sometimes she throws in some lifestyle products. And if you haven't seen her channel yet, please go over and tell her that Mona sent you. And if you're here from Barbara Jean's channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy today's video and decide to stay. We're going to jump right in because I have a lot of items that I want to share with you. In those Gucci slides, yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they want to be. Yeah. And all the Dolce Tennis. So let's start with some fun things. We're going to start with shoes. I think that we need summer shoes that are cute, that are comfortable, and that are fit for summer. So most of you have your favorite sandals, but have you seen these? Look how cute these are. They say together, be happy. These are a light khaki color. They have a cushion insole. They are by Vivaya. They have enough grip that you don't have to worry about slipping outside. They're washable. These are last season shoes. These are the shoes that I have gotten the most compliments on in a long time. Everywhere I go, people are like, oh, I love those shoes. Where did you get them? Great for summer, perfect colors. The be happy is a great little theme. I'm going to link everything that I'm talking about in this video in the description, but I know lately it's been hard to find the description, so I'm also going to put it in the first pinned comment in case you want to check any of these things out yourself. So these are a pair of tennis shoes, but they're not just any tennis shoes. I like slip-on, easy, comfortable things for summer. These require no break-in. You get them from Amazon. They're very highly rated. These are last year's also, and I'm still wearing them. They have this little scruffy look, but you slip on them, no laces. They also have some arch support, like a memory foam cushion. Not a lot of arch support, but enough. Also good grips on the bottom, so you're not slipping and sliding. Machine washable. And I would say you size down one half a size in this. And these are true to size. So speaking of feet... Your feet are probably going to be showing more in the summer than they are any other time of the year. I use this concentrated foot cream by Dermatology. This is peppermint smelling, cool, refreshing, and it has mild exfoliating properties in it with some lactic acid and some AHAs. This is beautiful for your heels and your feet. I put this on at night. I put my socks over it and my skin has never been so soft on my feet. This is a beautiful product. This is like my third repeat purchase of this. I use this all year, but it's especially nice in the summer when you're, you want to have your feet look well, your heels look well when they're sticking out of slides or sandals. Really a good product. If you're looking to exfoliate your skin, the Dermatology Exfoliating Body Lotion is wonderful. I would definitely recommend trying that after you get out of the bath and you've put your castor oil in your water to help get rid of crepiness. You can apply this to your dry or damp skin and you can have this gently exfoliate your body so it's not crepey and it's ready for self tanners if you tan. I don't tan. The only thing I use for tanning is my little Jergens Glow because I've kind of embraced my paleness. The only thing is I just don't want my legs to look like a sheet of paper white, so I do use Jergens Glow on them just to get a light natural color. And I'm good with that. I'm no longer needing to look tan. That's a major step, that self-acceptance phase that we get to at some point. This is the Jergens Natural Glow. I use the firming and it gradually creates flawless natural looking color. It's just not as finicky as other self tanners. So I don't have to be like really careful with it. I don't have to watch my knees or watch my ankles or have like build up of color, but just rub it on and go. That's kind of my vibe and my jam. We all need to sleep well to be able to be our best self and to be able to really enjoy all the things that summer has to offer. But it's hot. You're a hot sleeper because you're going through menopause and you get hot flashes or you're just a hot sleeper in general or it's just hot outside and you're trying to be able to crank that temperature up on your thermostat a little bit so that you're not killing yourself with your energy bills, you should consider 
this comforter by Rest Duvet. So Rest Duvet, if this is not sponsored, I don't get a commission. This is just a great product. I've bought two and I have my third on the way. The reason that I have two is because I also bought one for my son. It comes in several colors. Some of them are reversible. The last one that just came out, the navy one, which I just ordered, that one is solid co color. So they feel so cool. They feel almost wet when you pick them up. I can lay it on me right now, and even though I have a blanket on top of me, I am cool. You see these advertised and you wonder, like, is that a gimmick? Is that hype? Does it work? This really works. It has just enough weight not to slide off of your bed, but it does have a really smooth surface. These are hypoallergenic. These are moisture wicking from your body, so if you do have any sweat at night, this is going to wick it away and keep you from being hot or damp. It's also dog friendly. Usually when you see the back of my videos and you see that there is like a sheet or a blanket on top of the bed, that's not my comforter that you see in the background. That is a sheet because I don't want her shedding on my bedspreads. This doesn't really catch hair like other pieces of fabric. So it's great if you have pets. Rest Duvet also makes sheets and pillowcases. I didn't bring those here for you to see, but I would recommend those as well. So you don't have to like wait till your pillow gets warm and then flip it over so that it's a little cooler. It's just cool all night. The fitted sheet, also fabulous. So you have cool underneath you, you have cool on top of you, and you have cool underneath your head. So let's talk about staying hydrated. You're at more risk in the summer for heat stroke, heat exhaustion, and you really want to keep yourself safe. That's a real thing. I always carry these drip drops, dehydration relief, in my purse, these little packets, or liquid IV. Right now I have these. They come in a variety of flavors. This has 16 sticks in a packet. It's not expensive. I'm going to link this below. It's fast relief from dehydration caused by exercise, travel, heat, sleep, nausea, and alcohol. So it's also good for hangovers. Anytime you need to be rehydrated. And this can save somebody's life. I am not a doctor. I'm not trying to give you medical advice. But you could be somewhere, and maybe it's not you, but somebody else is not hydrated. You can pop this into a water bottle, or you can pop this into a glass. And they taste pretty good, too. And you could actually save somebody from being dehydrated. Tastes good. Comes in a variety of flavors. And it restores that hydration with a little bit of electrolytes, less sugar than something like a Gatorade, and more hydrating. Definitely worth keeping in your bag during the summer months. Might help you or you just might save somebody else. Let's talk about keeping our face hydrated. Now you probably wonder why I'm not going into sunscreens. I just know that everybody has done videos on sunscreens. I'm going to show you a few products that I think you don't want to forget about when you're talking about sun protection, but I'm going to do a separate sunscreen video. So we're talking about hydrating your face. So once you have your makeup on or before you have your makeup on, I would consider this product by Bioma. I love this face mist. So this is a balancing face mist that has ceramides in it. It also has probiotics and allantoin, which is soothing. You can keep this in your purse. And you could be out somewhere like the ballpark or one of those events we were talking about. And you can just spray this fine mist all over your face. And what it is, it's repairing, rebuilding your skin barrier. So when you're out and really just getting dehydrated, this is so great for restoring that moisture balance and making sure that you don't damage your skin barrier in the heat. You can also use this as your second step. So after you're, you cleanse, you can spray this all over your face to give your face that maximum hydration before you go in with your other skincare products. If you find like you want a product like that, but you feel like this is too big, by the way, it is a Boosted Barrier Better Skin. It functions to calm and soothe your skin with a hydrated, soft, and refreshed finish. It doesn't mess up your makeup, it doesn't lift your makeup, and it helps your skin barrier. But I wanted to say there is an alternative to that, and that is the Aster Rain product. So Aster Rain has this brightening microbiome mist. This is also something that will repair your skin barrier and that you can put on to set your makeup, or you can put this on as your second step after your cleanse, or you can also spray this fine mist also anytime when you're in the heat and you're hot. This one has glycerin, niacinamide, manuka honey, which is antibacterial. It has hyaluronate, sodium hyaluronate. So both of these are super moisturizing, have super good for you ingredients, and are really nice to set your makeup, to rehydrate during the day, or to hydrate before you even put on makeup, or just when you're getting ready to go outside and 
enjoy your day. Let's talk about if you do get too much sun. Let's just say that you overdo it a little bit with the sun while you're outside. We've all done it no matter how much we put on sunscreen and wear our hats and our protection. These are things that I find will soothe your skin once you've already damaged that skin barrier and you have a sunburn or you have irritation or your skin is just really dehydrated and dry and feels irritated. This is Innisfree. It is a Korean product. It's intensive hydrating serum with green tea seed extract. So anything that has Sika or Centella Asiatica is going to be is going to be soothing. This is like water. So this does not interfere with anything else that you're doing for your skin. You can put this on right after you cleanse. While your skin is still damp, just put this on it. It is so soothing. This is a wonderful facial serum for the summer, whether you've damaged your skin barrier, whether you just need some extra hydration. The other thing, if you're looking to soothe and repair your moisture barrier, is Ceramidin by Dr. Jort. I love this product and I keep it around all the time for me when my rosacea flares, but especially during the summer, I think this would be helpful for you. Anything that has ceramides, panthenol, Sika, Centella Asiatica, they're all going to be soothing. And as soon as you put this little cream on, you can see this one's a little thicker. So this one is not as thin as a serum. I would put this on top of the serum. I'd layer the serum first, and then I would top it with this. And you're going to repair that skin barrier in no time, and you're going to feel some relief. This is not going to be for everybody, but I love it. This is another Korean product. This is K-Beauty Herborean. This is the CC Red Correct with Centella Asiatica. This is also got sunscreen in it. You can wear this as a sunscreen. You can wear this as a primer, especially if you want to correct redness. So let's just say you get a sunburn, but you don't want that sunburn effect or you just have redness anyway. I use this on the everyday just to color correct my redness, but it has the benefit of being soothing, moisturizing, hydrating. But when you use a green color corrector, most of the time that green color corrector is going to make your face look green. I have it on today. I don't think my face looks green. It blends in so beautifully. It makes your skin feel hydrated. You're getting some SPF 25 worth and the green tint is going to completely go away, but it's going to balance the redness. And it's going to soothe your skin if you have sunburn. So this is the perfect after sunburn treatment or anytime your face is irritated or if you have redness like I do. Now, if you really get a sunburn, you're going to want to go heavy duty on something like this Leave X Pain Relieving Spray Max. This cools in seconds with menthol and camphor. However, this is just one thing that I use. I am out of my other one. Because when we were putting Chase's dog, Gabby, down, if you heard that video, I was with her the couple days before, and I had brought over my favorite spray, which has 5% lidocaine in it. So that really numbs your skin, and that's even better than this Aleve X, but you want something like that. Definitely something like that you want to keep on hand. So let's talk about three products that you don't often think about when you're thinking about sunscreen. So underneath your eyes, this new Color Correct from Dermatology that I've been raving about. You've probably seen this all over social media, and that's for good reason. I love this. This is the Dermatology Luminous Eye Corrector SPF 41. So this comes in fair, light, medium, and dark, and it has this little dispenser that gets a little messy, so usually I do go and put it on the back of my hand before I apply it. But this has sun protection for underneath your eyes, and I think a little extra eye protection on this fragile skin under here. We don't want to age anymore. We don't want that wrinkling up. So applying some of this underneath the eye as an extra layer of sun protection can never hurt. And why I use this is because it color corrects the blue dark circles underneath my eyes. And it also serves as a concealer for me. That's not heavy. That's not going to crease. It doesn't provide the coverage that all concealers do. It's not heavy duty, but it's light and perfect for summer. And I also use it as an eyelid primer so that I can co cover up the veining that I get on my upper eyes. For one product, you're getting SPF, you're color correcting those dark circles, you're concealing, and you're getting an eyelid primer as well. Then don't forget your lips, ladies. If you're like me, sometimes you may forget SPF on your lips. We put it everywhere else but that. 
I have three of these right here. So I'm kind of addicted to them and I have one more on my nightstand. So I keep one in my purse, one in my nightstand, one in my bathroom. This one's on my desk. And I reapply all day long. This has kind of like a slight peppermint taste, minty feel, but it's not like stinging or like one of those limp, lip plumping formulas. It's just a slight coolness, slight coolness, and a slight peppermint flavor. SPF 25, and I reapply that all day long. Don't forget your SPF on your lips. Once you've put on all of your sunscreens, during the day, you're out and about, especially if you have makeup on. We don't always want to reapply. Sunscreen is not going to last more than two hours, especially if you're outside in the bright sun and you're active and you're sweating. That, that's going to wear off. You're going to need to reapply. So having a little powder on hand, this is SPF Radiance Powder by Dermatology. And all you have to do is turn it on, shake the bottom. This comes in fair, light, medium, dark also. And you can just reapply over your makeup while you're out and about without messing up your makeup or without reapplying goopy sunscreen. This is a more affordable option to the color science. I would consider putting one of these in your purse. Let's talk about makeup. You want makeup that stays put. That's not going anywhere. That's not going to slide all over your face when you sweat. My favorite products for that is nude sticks. I don't think nude sticks gets enough love. So these, this is what I have on my eyes today. This is my eye look today. These pencils are multifunctional. So you get a pack of nude sticks. You can pick your shades, your various color stories, various collections. Comes with a little mirror. They come in this nice tin case. They're great for travel. Eyes, lips, and cheeks you can get out of all of these. I also use it as an eyeliner because I want an eyeliner that's not going to be moving around and smudging during the summer and the heat, especially if any of my products I want to stay put. It's my mascara and it's my eyeliner. I don't want to have all this smudged dark brown stuff or black stuff underneath my eyes. So I take one of their darker colors, brown, that's what I have on now as an eyeliner, and I use this. This color, for example, this is nice for the lips, it's what I have on now. Also, we'll work on the cheeks. Isn't that pretty? You can use any shade you want. What's great about this is they don't budge. You can take these in the pool. You can take these in the ocean. You can take these to the hottest event, and you can put them to the test. They're not going anywhere. You're locked and loaded with nude sticks. And they're easy, travel-friendly, don't spill, don't make a mess. They have a separate bronzer that I am in love with, and this is a repeat purchase for me. This is a Nudies Matte, and this is in the co color Beach Babe. This is from a couple of years ago. I still have a little bit left. This will give you a sunburn look, and I have a little video I'm going to put up. This can also go on your lips. I can also use this on my eyes just to give me, like, really look like I've been in the sun and give me that sun kiss glow. You can use it as a blush. You can use it as a bronzer. You can just put it all over your cheeks. And again, it's not going anywhere. Uh, you can build it up. You can get an intense look with this. I do like Bondi Bay, which is an actual brownish bronzer, not this reddish tone, but I couldn't find that one today. I don't know where I put it. It's probably in one of my handbags. These are so portable and travel friendly. I love these. They're so worth the investment. Another bronzer that I want to share with you, if you have pale skin like me or you just want to enhance your skin with a little healthy glow, I am really loving this Physician's Formula Butter Glow Press Powder. This is not a bronzer. I have this in the color natural glow and it has a little bit of a red undertone and I find that it just gives me the prettiest prettiest little glow. Let's pick some of this up. I have so much on my face right now. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Can you see that? So this can warm up your face if you're pale like really just warm it up in the most beautiful way. Give you just a little bit of iridescence can you see that? It 
And I think it works good as a bronzer too, honestly. It's not orange, there's no orange in it. Warm up your face. And then when you move around in the sun, it like catches a little bit of glimmer, no glitter. Not a heavy shimmer. It does not accentuate texture at all. It is very light. It just gives you a beautiful glow for the summer. And if you're fair, I think that this is enough even for a bronzer for you. If you're a normal skin tone, <laughs> unlike myself, then you can just use this as a powder to give you a beautiful shimmer and sun-kissed glow. Now, ladies, if you're more mature like I am and you haven't discovered Laura Geller, you need to check her out. This is her Baked to Go Bronze and Brighten in the color Fair. Perfect for traveling. It's got a little mirror on it. It's got a built-in brush. You can see it's well used. The product is at the bottom. This is also a beautiful bronzer for the summer that does not accentuate texture, that can really warm up your face. This is a little bit more of a brown shade than the Physician's Formula Powder. This is like a true bronzer. It will not add texture. It will not, it will not accentuate texture. It will give you a healthy, beautiful glow. You can get it in different shades and it's travel friendly. And those are my favorite bronzers for the summer and they do stay put. Let's talk about the Euphoric Rush blushes from Morphe. I've never been a Morphe fan. I, I just haven't. But these two blushes, these are something special. They are great blushes for any time, but they're especially great for summer. This is their Euphoric Rush 3-in-1 Silk Blush. I find that they're good on mature skin. They give you just that little bit of luminosity by being a cream. They don't accentuate fine lines and wrinkles. And they're very pigmented, as you're going to see. If you can, I would pick up these little sponges to apply them. And really, any cream products. These are like a beauty blender. This feels like a beauty blender. They wash like a beauty blender. But they're perfect for like applying one of these blushes. You want to just be very careful with how much you pick up because a little goes a long way. This baby pink blush color is so pretty. These blushes last. If you're looking for like stay put blush for the summer, these are it, or really for any time. They're beautiful, they last, and they don't just sit on top of your skin. They soak in in such a beautiful way. They blend with your skin. And they're just, they're beautiful. I like these two shades in particular. This is the mauve one. And you can definitely pack a punch with this. These, these are like my new favorite little gadget. It's like a beauty blender on my finger. It's like wonderful. Just wanted to share these with you. Normally something by Morphe would be a pass for me. I think you should, if you're looking for a blush and you're looking for a blush that stays, that's good on mature skin, that packs a punch, or you can share it out. I'd look into this little combo. I think they're beautiful. So what is my favorite go-to foundation in the summer? My favorite go-to foundations in the summer are going to be a BB cream like Wet n Wild. Or it's going to be a serum like Ilia's Serum or L'Oreal Serum. Or even this number 7 Restore and Renew which has been repackaged. But this is all, these are all light, wonderful products to even out your skin, but they don't have staying power. If you're looking for something that's going to even out your skin, that's your skin but better, but it's going to stay, then you're looking for the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer. You know Estee Lauder Double Wear is like full coverage and it's definitely an OG, but have you tried the Sheer formula? So this will give you that your skin but better look. Your skin may peek out a little bit or you can build it up to where your skin doesn't peek out but it's still light you can apply this with your hands you don't even need a sponge it is very liquidy very runny and it just gives you a beautiful finish and the good thing about it it's not going anywhere not for a long time this has the longest lasting coverage for something that gives me that lighter look on my skin that i want in the summer 
So we're rounding this up. I know this has been a long video, and this isn't even everything I wanted to share with you. I had so many things. I might have to do a couple of breakout videos. Dermatology is my favorite line of sunscreen. There is a sunscreen for everyone. I guarantee you there is. There's one that you're going to like, and they're affordably priced, and they do a good job, and they play well under makeup. So we're going to talk about fragrance. These are my three favorite summer fragrances. So if you like a floral, this is so light. This is Anaïs Anaïs by Cacharel. This is an oldie but goodie. I've been wearing this forever, for like 30 years. It used to be a department store product. Now you can find it at a drugstore for a really reasonable price. But it is floral. It is light. It is fresh. It's not a heavy floral. It's a beautiful scent for the summer. Then, of course, there's Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue. This is citrus. It's light and fresh, and it gives you that clean smell with just a little hint of citrus. Not overwhelming, but it does have some lasting power. Not likely to be offensive to someone else. And then, of course, my favorite Sol de Janeiro fragrance. They have some new ones I'm going to be telling you about, but this is the Chirosa 62. This has notes of caramel, pistachio. This makes you feel like you're at the beach. It gives you vibes of summer, and it is more of a gourmand, sweet fragrance, but lovely just the same. Now, this one does not have staying power, so if you want this scent to stay, you need to combine this with the famous Boom Boom Cream. Put the cream on as a moisturizer, layer with this, and you'll get a little bit more staying power. If not, get you a purse size and <laughs> respray. You can see this is... This is what I'm down to. This is all that I have left of this. So I'm almost out. So we're going to say one more thing about protection, and that is hats. You need two hats. You need one that is cute and stylish, like to go with those shoes, right? Tell me this isn't cute and stylish. You got your little bow. You got your little emblem. It's floppy, but it holds its weight. This is great for an outdoor barbecue or summer party. And then you need your other kind. You need your utility sun protector hat. This is something that's great for gardening, great if you're on a boat, great if you're cutting the grass, or if you're walking the dog. You make sure it doesn't fly away. You have protection for your neck. It's also great if you're fishing. This uh, is water resistant. The water can wring out. It's moisture wicking, all of those things. This is by the brand Mission, and this is a quality hat. If you're really not looking for cuteness, but you're looking just for maximum sun protection in your hat. But with hats, they're only as good as if you wear them. So you'll see, I pop these up right by my front door. I hang them up so when I'm going in, when I'm going out, I can grab them. They're right there, handy. I don't have to think about it or look for them. Put them someplace where you can grab them easy. So that's all I have for you today that we're going to talk about. I had body things. I had lots of other things, but we just don't have the time. It'll have to be a part two, I guess. So I hope that you got some value out of this video. I'd love to hear what your suggestions are. What are the ways that you beat the heat? What are the most important products to you in the summer? Tell me what you think so I can learn from you. We can all learn from each other in the comments. Have a great rest of your week. Enjoy your summer, even with uh, some colorful nails or a new haircut like I got, which I am still getting used to because it feels like I have hardly any hair left. That's another video. See you in the next video. She lives a double life. What's on the show? What's under the side of smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not.